basically we're just going to pick the easiest way to identify whether or not a series converges or diverges if it's really, really complicated. So let's say, for example, you want to still write in? Right. Okay, so let's say, for example, determine the convergence or divergence. of the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 2 plus 3 to the power of n. Okay. Now with this one, it looks really similar to this convergent series. Let's say n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 2 plus 3n closely resembles sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the power n. Like I said, which is a convergent geometric series. So we know that a sub n is less than b sub n. So if b sub n, we'll let this be our b sub n. So if this converges, and this is always greater than your a sub n, then this would converge also. Okay, So that means 1 over 2 plus 3 to the power of n would have to be less than 1 over 3 to the power of n, which is actually true. Because if you plug in 1, 1 fifth is less than 1 third. If you plug in 2, 1 eleventh is less than 1 ninth. So as n gets bigger and bigger and bigger, that's still going to be true. Okay, and that's for n greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so by the comparison test, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 2 plus 3 to the n converges. So really, we didn't even have to bother with that one. We just had to find one to compare it to. All right. So any questions on that one? OK. Let's say if we have, say we wanted to determine the convergence or divergence of the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 2 plus square root of n. So we can see this closely resembles 1 over square root of n. From n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over square root of n, which is just 
from n equals 1 to infinity, 1 over n to the 1 half power. Okay. Which, if you look at the p-series, that's less than 1, so you know less than equal to 1, so you know it diverges. So it's a divergent p-series. And we'll let that be our b sub n. Okay, so if we decided to make our 1 over 2 plus square root of n less than 1 over n to the 1 half, this, oh, sure, there you go. This actually doesn't tell us anything, only because, remember, our a sub n has to be less than our b sub n. So if this is our b sub n, and we know this diverges, that means at some point, we don't even need this because we don't know. There we go. That means your b sub n at some point is going to just diverge up. And if a sub n is less than that, we don't know if it's diverging or converging or anything. So this really doesn't help us. So we have to pick another method. Yeah, but not another method, but really just another comparison. Oh. So when the first, sometimes your first comparison won't work, so you just pick another comparison. Okay, so since we cannot determine the behavior from, from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the 1 half, pick another comparison. So you can pick 1 over n. All right, actually, we can make this our a sub n. our b sub n can equal 1 over 2 plus uh -oh, square root of n. All right. So really, 1 over n is less than or equal to 1 over 2 plus square root of n as long as n is greater than or equal to 4. Okay, so we know that this diverges from P series because n is equal to 1. Oh, bring that up a little. So that's a divergent P series. Or if you want to call a harmonic series, you can. Okay, so if this diverges and this is always less than that one, then that means this one would have to diverge also. So that means from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 2 plus square root of n uh -oh, diverges by the comparison test. Any questions on that one? All right. Okay, so let's see if we have oh, limit comparison test. Okay. 
got to get the actual name since these are a little bit different. Okay, so there are direct comparison and limit comparison tests. Okay, so suppose that our first series is greater than zero and our second series is greater than zero. And the limit as n approaches infinity, the ratio of those two series is equal to some L value. The limit actually exists. So where L is a finite and positive real number. Okay, so then the two series a sub n, n equals one to infinity, and b sub n from n equal one to infinity, either both converge or both diverge. Right, so let's say, for example, we want to determine the convergence or divergence of the series from n equal 1 to infinity, square root of n over n squared plus 1. Okay, so with limit comparison, well, make sure I specify that. Using limit comparison. So for our limit comparison, just a quick note. You want to just focus on the two leading terms of your numerator and denominator. So, and that kind of helps you minimize exactly all the guesswork. So you want to focus on the numerator and denominators. Leading terms. All right, so we're going to make this equal our a sub n. So a sub n, we're going to make that equal square root of n over n squared plus 1. So our b sub n is just going to worry about those two. So it's going to be square root of n over n squared. Okay, so that actually gives us n to the 1 half over n squared. that a little bit bigger. Okay. 
which means we go ahead and subtract our one half there. So if we make that four over two, that'd be three over two. Uh oh, into the three over two. Okay, so we have our sum. Well, not really our sum, we can do that part later. So that's a sub n over b sub n. So if it equals some limit value, then we know this, where well, we already know this, our p is greater than 1, so it's convergent p-series. So if we can find the limit of this, that pretty much the ratio, then that's going to show either the limit exists, that means they both converge or they both diverge. Here we're testing to see if it diverges, I mean converges. Okay, so this is going to equal the limit as n approaches infinity. Your a sub n, remember that's square root of n over n squared plus 1, divided by b sub n, which is 1 over n to the 3 halves power. So if we divide it, we go ahead and flip it and turn it to multiplication. Okay, so that ends up giving us the limit as n approaches infinity into the 3 halves. I'll go ahead and do that on the side. Into the 3 halves plus plus one half. Which ends up being n squared. So this ends up being, actually I'll put it next to it since we have a little simplifying to do. The limit of n squared over n squared plus one as n approaches infinity. So if you want, you can use L'Hopital's rule, or you can divide everything by n squared. Both will work. So have n squared over n squared as n approaches infinity of n squared over n squared plus 1 over n squared. Uh -oh, clean that up a little. That's still a little bit messy looking. 1 over n squared. Okay, which ends up giving us the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over 1 plus 1 over n squared. Which means that's going to eventually approach 0, which gives us 1. Okay. So by the limit comparison test, both series converge. Bring that up so. All right. So any questions on that one? Right. Say one more example. Anybody still writing? All right. Looks like everyone's done. Okay. So let's say if we have for example, determine the convergence. or divergence of sum from n equals 1 to infinity of n to the 2nth power divided by 4n cubed plus 1 using limit comparison.
Okay. So just like before, we're going to let this be our a sub n. 4n cubed plus 1. And our b sub n will just focus on the first term. So that would be n times 2 to the power of n over 4n cubed, which actually simplifies to those n's cancel out. Well, at least one of them will. 2 to the power of n, well, yeah, I could leave it like that, over 4n squared. Actually, we really don't need the 4. Four is not necessary. So we can make our b sub n equal 2 to the n over n squared. Because 4 times a really big number is the same as, well, a really big number squared is the same as just a really big number squared. So. All right, so we know the limit a sub n over b sub n as n approaches infinity. Uh -oh. Okay, so we're going to make that, oh, actually this, we know from the nth term test for divergence. that this is a divergent series. Actually, let me write that right at the top. Okay, so that means we're going to test and see if this comes out to be a limit an actual limit value, then we know that they both diverge. Okay, so this ends up being the limit as n approaches infinity of your a sub n, which is n times 2 to the power of n, or 4n to the third plus 1, divided by your b sub n, which we can go ahead and just flip it. So that would be n squared over 2 to the n. Okay, so our 2 to the n's would cancel out. So we end up with the limit as n approaches infinity of n to the third over 4n to the third plus 1. Okay, so if we go ahead and just divide everything by n to the third, the limit as n approaches infinity of n to the third over n to the third divided by 4n to the third over n to the third plus 1 over n to the third which is the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over 4 plus 1 over n to the third clean that up a little bit So we know this will eventually reach zero. So this is just one-fourth. Okay. So that means since that diverged, that means both diverge. By the limit comparison test, both series diverge. All right. So any questions on that one? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. You still have to create your practice questions, but your exam will be next Monday. And it will cover, I'm trying to think which sections. It's all listed on Canvas, which sections are being covered.
and the practice questions should be uploaded no later than 8 o'clock.